Here's a question. Do human embryos experience consciousness? And if they do, when does consciousness begin in human development? Our current understanding of consciousness is complex. At its simplest, consciousness can be defined as the sensory awareness of the body, the self, and the world. While research shows that babies display signs of consciousness at as early as five months old, consciousness of a fetus is an entirely different story. A fetus may be aware of the body, for example, by perceiving pain. Studies have shown that from 16 weeks, the fetus can respond to low frequency sound, and by 19 weeks, a fetus can withdraw a limb or flinch in response to pain. These responses look very much like the start of conscious awareness in embryos, but that's not the case. Research shows that during the early days of a fetus, the neural pathways responsible for converting senses to conscious experiences have yet to develop. This means that what we are seeing in embryos are just reflexes, probably controlled entirely by the developing brainstem and spinal cord. After six weeks of pregnancy, a basic spinal cord and nervous system develop in an embryo. Around this time, the first neural activity in a fetus begins to occur. But this activity is not the coherent activity of the kind that underlies human consciousness, or even the coherent activity seen in small animals such as a shrimp's nervous system. This early neural activity consists of unorganized neuron firing of a primitive kind. It's the kind of neural activity that is present in clinically brain-dead patients. Besides, neural activity by itself does not represent integrated behavior. We know that the brain structures necessary for the conscious experience of pain do not develop until 29 to 30 weeks, and the conscious processing of sounds is only made possible after the 26th week. While we cannot be sure enough to say when consciousness first emerges in embryos, it cannot be rationally called before the end of the second trimester at 24 weeks of pregnancy. The key issue seems to be when the peripheral nervous system joins up with the cerebral cortex, the region of the brain responsible for higher thought processes such as memory, attention, thought, awareness, and language. Without this kind of sensory input, you can't be aware of your surroundings, and you can't be conscious. The joining of the cortex to the peripheral system provides that vital link between the outside world and the higher brain. This occurs by about 25 weeks of pregnancy. Even when the fetal brain possesses all its adult structures, scientists are cautious to assume it possesses what we refer to as consciousness. This is mainly because the low oxygen levels and the constant barrage of sleep-inducing chemicals from the placenta ensure that, until birth, the fetus remains heavily sedated. While it's hard to know when consciousness does arise in humans, we do know that it does arise, but researchers are trying to pinpoint where in the brain consciousness comes from and how it arises. These questions are as philosophical as they are scientific, so they can obviously be a lot to unpack, but that will have to wait for another episode. <laughs>